Hello everybody, I am Rishira Ganguly and this is Let's Connect. So today we are joined with the amazing cast of Operation MBBS. Your very own Hello. Hi. Sarah Hashmi and Nishant Ayush Mehra. So, thank you. So today we will be talking about the upcoming season of Operation MBBS, which is going to release this month. Uh, on the official YouTube page of Dice Media. Welcome back, guys. How are you today? And really, 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 what does that strawberry <laughs> shake, I don't know, S3, what does that taste like? <laughs> it's like shake. <laughs> how we show it in the show, that's how it tastes. <laughs> really? <laughs> they really don't make any effort to make it tasty. <laughs> uh, no. So it's it's ruovza and it's milk with Sara. Uh, it's uh, almond milk because she's allergic to normal milk. Uh, and uh, uh, looking at Sara, we all also started copying her and said we also allergic. allergic. <laughs> and then uh, they we also used to get almond milk. But with almond milk, let me tell you, nothing changed. It was still <laughs> bad. <laughs> Almond milk in itself is bad only. Like, no form of milk is good, guys. Stop drinking yeah. milk. Is this world. Yeah. What is wrong with you? Yeah. <laughs> but it looks damn tasty, man. I don't know. I, I see your facial expressions, but under the other, I'm like, I want to drink that and know what it tastes like. But... Ruobza or dood or thoda pani dal de. I think that's uh, S3. <laughs> uh, next week, you watch no. I'm going to make that for myself so that I have the satisfaction of drinking S3 with you guys. <laughs> How nice. How nice. Super. For sure. Season 2 is coming up and we would, we. I mean, we could not be more excited because season 1, it ended on such a sort of cliffhanger. So, and also being a show, which is, focusing on medical students, there has to be the quotient of COVID present. So what was the table discussion like around this pandemic? And what can we expect from the new season? You know, in the new season, whatever you're saying is uh, included. We've heard you. Child, we have heard everyone. (laughs) So uh, there is a part of the show which deals with COVID, which uh, would be stupid to not include obviously because it's it's so contemporary so live and we have a medical property with us and it, it's something which we we have done so you will see it and it's it's a take on how the doctors dealt with it uh, during the course of time uh, if I speak a little more I will give you the plots so <laughs> let me digress from it <laughs> also uh, uh, being season two uh, is very exciting for all of us because uh, it just because we've lived with these characters for a while and now coming back to it and how these people are also going to evolve into and become what in the future is something that we decide and uh, by portraying it, it'll come across. So, so there's a lot of excitement in terms of that because uh, imagine after five years or seven years of uh, doing MBBS, you watch it and you're seeing the arc of that character grow to a point where you're like, oh, wow, I really like the way this individual has grown and become what they have become. Or So, you know, it's it's that close. So, yeah, that's that's what. Um, I think what, what I'd like to add is that, that because uh, the pandemic was different for everyone, like how you asked right now before we began, it was Ayush had his own experiences related to the pandemic I had my own so when it came down to the table discussion about the script the makers the writers the directors all of us we came up we we had our own ideas about the pandemic and what we should talk about what we shouldn't how we should go into it so that was really interesting like how like different uh, points of view uh, they came together and we've got uh, fi- we've we've got we came to a conclusion and we've created something that you'll see in the show now. Uh, but uh, yeah, I mean, different people, different points of view, and what the pandemic did for them. So one of them you'll see in the show. So talking about characters and different viewpoints, as you said, all 
what i've noticed is all three characters have a very strong foundation and a very strong uh, background story so to say which kind of you know seeps into the personality of the characters that we see on screen and i mean for huma it is the burden of being an overachiever for nishant it is to you know come out of the shadow of your father and for sakshi it is you know breaking expectations so these are very you know heavy concepts so what were the kind of discussions that you had with the creators to you know realize your characters to the fullest um i think uh, most of the, the foundation work was done in season 1 season 2 basically means taking off from where we left season 1 and adding more and more layers i think uh, i can say this very proudly operation mbbs has uh, given characters uh, have have etched out characters in a way that have so many layers nishan's character in season 2 will have so many layers uh, my character which was already so layered will have more and sakshi's as well so you know like character work layering the character going into the depths of it that was so important and uh it was very refreshing to see uh on youtube in fact like on youtube we we might we might not see but for this show like i'm i'm so glad that the writers and the makers made sure that these are deep characters and not just on the surface of it and i think yeah. for all of us sitting with the director i used sitting with his um, dialect coach and writers these discussions were endless like what what who am i saying in in a scene and where it's coming from what does it mean what is the what is the uh, implication of it and same with ayush and sakshi i mean there was so much back story constantly that we had to refer to we couldn't not look at the the scene before that we had already done or written in the script we can't just take off from acha okay today is scene number 4 so you t- just do it no we have to go back and constantly check and recheck about the emotions so yeah that was something very very interesting and it kept us on our toes for sure yeah and this this season is more drama this is more delving into the characters which uh, you asked us about uh <clears throat> initially it was about unison as friendship as the crux of season 1 in season 2 you will see that as well but you will see individual character arcs which are now beautifully portrayed and you go deep with them and think hey oh why is he like that he's not just like this because of this reason or she's not like this because of that reason there is something which is why they are reacting to in a particular they so and there are new people coming in as well uh, in uh, uh, mbbs uh, so that's also a fun factor which you all might uh, love uh, which which obviously now i can't say more i've said enough but you know these these are new things which you all will be like oh wow yaar i really like this character i really like that character so it's 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 not only about these three it's about the larger picture of mbbs now and what i love about the characters is that there are no ro- romantic complications between them it's just फ्रेंडशिप स्ट्रॉन्ग and you never really see that kind of a friendship flourish in series which have you know i mean which are based on college mates or you know school mates or whatever there has to be some mm-hmm. romantic connection so looking at the humongous uh, positive response the series has received with over 75 million views what have been i mean how what what do you think uh how does your story differentiate from other series we also didn't expect 75 million views honestly <laughs> firstly 
but it's it just shows you how big a community it is of doctors you know we've always neglected them we've always focused on engineers and we've never focused on mbbs so the struggles of mbbs and stuff like that is something which uh, people were dying to see and uh, it's just uh, really gratifying to know that in such a broad scheme of this mbbs world where there's doctors there's the pandemic happening there's so much hard work and all that as your probably the slightest of 1 0.1% affecting everything and they are watching it they are feeling loved about it so as a feeling of doing operation mbbs it's something which is uh, i don't know how to tell you like when you go to a doctor also he's probably seen our show and it's so nice because he's talking to me about mbbs when i've come to visit him in the clinic so i think the uh, implication of doing mbbs on a larger scheme we also don't understand because we are as actors we just do it but it for a person who is probably not in Bom- uh, in the metros and is somewhere uh, in a remote town and is watching our show feel so connected to us and thinks that we are doctors so that's something which is very gratifying and satisfying and we are very really very grateful for uh, this show like it's really close to our hearts that that that's what i can uh, comprehend uh, out of this whole mbbs experience so why do you think it is necessary that a series such as operation mbbs be shown on a democratic platform such as dice media on youtube without a subscription paywall um i think for a very simple reason that it will reach so many more people uh you know it's on your phone you just log on to youtube and it's right there and there for you um so bigger reach and it's it's a topic that i think everyone was like waiting for as ayush rightly said we have spoken about engineers so much uh so i think it was just a matter of time that we spoke about doctors maybe like we have to start talking about lawyers and a huge chunk of people every year are preparing to be doctors and their whole lives revolve around just becoming doctors they're studying from like morning 4 o'clock till late night 10 o'clock so and it's not a small bunch it's a lot of people you can see the views that we've got i mean like you know like so many people can relate to it parents can relate to it kids can relate to it so i think i'm glad that it's on a platform which is free of cost and it only like talks about doctors their struggles what three people coming from different backgrounds are dealing with when they enter college so relatable and not just medical students i think any student who's struggling in life and wants to like become something big wants to achieve they can relate to it so yeah i feel uh, 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 being on youtube gives us accessibility to a lot of people and uh, the more people know about doctors the more people know about uh, the struggles to become a doctor how responsible uh, you have to be to be a doctor is uh, the more people know it the better also selfishly as actors uh, uh, we want uh, more people to watch our stuff uh, when it goes on a platform it becomes slightly restricted sometimes uh, but when you're on youtube it just becomes available for everyone and uh, you don't necessarily have to own an app or pay subscription for that you can watch it for free and a lot of the young uh, crowd from 13 to 24 probably don't have those accounts and uh, uh watching it free on youtube on their free times in the study breaks so that's where uh, you know you get a lot of your fan base from so uh, uh, i feel uh, this show is particularly right placed on youtube and it should remain there should not go somewhere else talking about anthems i mean i think crack it has been one of the anthems that i mean students listen to while studying because it i don't know even sometimes even i i mean listen to it while doing my work because it it has such a positive energy and it has such a i mean vigorous rhythm and everything because you just want to work listening to that song you were right when you spoke about sara you spoke about the anthem and you spoke about the song and you also i mean 
uh, it's completely understandable that it's it's for the larger mass operation mbbs but the last question does stand here lastly who tops the final exam in the new season there is there is no <laughs> final exam only in the season 2 <laughs> but we don't get to that's, know. that's the twist <laughs> oh no <laughs> Oh my god. We don't show exams. <laughs> I think Nisha Nisha You know Nish- you know we can't be repeating things no we yeah. yeah. We we'll give you more things. Fine, I fine let's let's just Kondo. give it to her. Let's just give it to her because she's sweet. Uh, Casey tops uh Oh uh, my god. The second year exam. <laughs> she's going to she's going to kill Casey me the next time. Casey becomes a nerd. Casey becomes a nerd. <laughs> Uh, Sakshi uh, gets into alcohol. Uh, then, <laughs> then uh, Huma uh, gets into rock climbing, and Nishant is just uh, you know become a polo player. So everyone just diversifying in this season a little. So exams are something we don't focus on. <laughs> so Casey was the only one who focused on this. That is great. I can almost. kind of imagine casey as sheldon but i would rather not <laughs> so, <laughs> I, but, I, I, whatever i've said in the last 5 minutes is all wrong so do not listen to anything <laughs> i think everyone is just waiting for the new season and everyone is just waiting for how the characters develop and so said, are we because we've not seen anything till now Yeah, we should actually call them and say, "Yeah, we need to show you. We have done the acting." No. Well, at least well, I now know. Like in an interview, we are not revealing to the plot, but we are. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I will find out the exclusives. Mm-hmm. But I mean, now I know how to make S three, and I am completely set for my binge session. Whenever the That's series fine. drops on YouTube, and uh, yeah, all the best for the new season. I loved speaking with you. I loved having this conversation because so many new things came to light. Your characters, the character developments that we'll see in season two, and yeah. So congratulations on the new season, and yeah, all the best for whenever you get to see the new season. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I hope you yeah. enjoy it. Please, please tell us. However, you <laughs> like it, don't like it, whatever you you can always tell us. I love the first season. I think I love the second season too. I mean, you how don't sweet have to worry. for sure. <laughs> That brings us to the end of our interview. Thank you so much for joining me. 